Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good evening and welcome to Urban Lifestyle Cafe. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother, and I'm here with my co-host, Alicia. Hello. And we've just finished seeing the Disney newest release, A Wrinkle in Time, made, well not made, but directed by Ava DuVernay, which is one of the bigger films that's coming out this year and a lot of people anticipating a lot from it. And this movie is based on a book by Madeline L. Engel, uh, which was published back in 1962. So old, old book. And we kind of looked up too, found out there was another version um, that was adapted, a film adaptation back in 2003, directed by John Kent Harrison. We didn't get to see that, but I don't think it really matters. So, Wrinkle in Time. Quick synopsis, so you'll know what we're talking about. Uh, Meg Murray and her little brother, Charles Wallace, have been without their scientist father, Mr. Murray, for five years. Say four on there. I don't know why they said five. Yeah. I guess it was five. Ever since he discovered a new planet and used the concept known as Tesseract to travel there, joined by Meg's classmate, Calvin O'Keefe, and guided by three mysterious Austrial travelers known as Mrs. What's It, Who, and Which, the children brave a dangerous journey to a planet that possesses all of the evil in the universe. That's the scenario that the film was based on. So, um, you know me, I'm the critical one. So I'm going to throw it over to Alicia so she can give us and, you know, I'll add color as she kind of let us know about the movie and, and how she saw it. I can give you one good thing about the movie. <laughs> and say about one, the one, good, one thing. good thing. The costumes were amazing. Oh yeah, they were the beautiful, hairdos. and oh, the makeup. Oh, uh, I love that. That was probably the one good thing I like about it. So, um, about the movie, it was very boring. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love Oprah Winfrey, and I love Reese Witherspoon, mm -hmm. and I love Ava, but this movie was not good. So, um, knew you was gonna say it, but. <laughs> I want you to kind of walk through it because um, I know you just kind of nodded out um, here and there, but I <laughs> I really want you to kind of walk me through as you were seeing the beginning because you said you didn't see. Oh, a I lot missed of the, the end ending. Of it. I missed the ending. Okay, so I slipped. Well, I mean, like you said, nodded through it. The, I really got to that one. The one thing, the last thing I remember was. Her her brother being turned this evil little boy, mm -hmm. and um and they kept falling into some kind of light swirly thing. Yeah, so it's like almost like a virtual reality cage. Right. Um, if if you watch the X Men, they have this battle room that they go into, and then things appear out of there. And he brought them into there, and then they kind of walked into that part. But so from the beginning, um. What did the movie tell you as you was as as we entered the theater? Well, not the theater. As the movie started moving along, wh what were you getting, and what do you and what did you see as it was going along? Acting was awful. Yes, it was. You know what? That was that was interesting with but the it, actors that was on there. The acting and when they and I'm, I'm not sure if you noticed this because you know me, I'm real critical. When they were saying their lines, it was almost like they hesitated, like they was waiting for someone to say, and action, stop. Mm -hmm. Then they started talking. There was a lot of portions in there that there was a hesitation as they were talking that there was a slight hesitation before they started, you know, saying things. Yeah, it is, it's like they were just talking. You know, you would say, like you said, you was like, read, read 
from the book. Okay, read line seven. Right, Ready? Right. Action. Right. That's and that's Meg ex- and her brother. That's exactly know. what it seemed like. That's exactly what it seemed like. Um, I didn't. I I didn't quite feel the storyline. Exactly. That was a big issue. Too. I was trying to figure out what, what it was. Uh, what the movie the book <laughs> was about. So so let's go back. I'm still trying to get you to walk me through it. You're just jumping through it. I, so so we said the acting was terrible. And that's direction. Okay, honestly, I think truthfully, that was direction. You say I'm jumping all over the place? That's no, exactly no, no. what the movie was. Jumping all over the goddamn place. I got that. But so let me ask you, Mindy Kalen, you know, the um the one who played Mrs. Who. Yes. You know, the Mindy Project. Yes. What did you think of her in the movie? I didn't think. Okay. I mean, she was just... First of all, I didn't know what the characters was, who the character was, why, what... what It was just... <laughs> Why? What? 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 I was like, okay, (laughs) I'm calling out the characters' names. You know, I mean, I didn't, I I didn't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Right. So I said Mindy because she was so awful, and the directing kept doing close-ups of their faces. You saw that? Yes, they came from. It was a lot. Came from down low. And then all of a sudden, blam, it, came, it was right it came, in their face. It came real close. And you was like, when are you going to kiss? No. The the the, the misses, the all the That's three misses. That's how it felt like it. It, it was just like it, they it was just, right they, it felt like, face. Yeah, it felt like, because they had them two, they had faces that were ma- matching up together. Mm. Um, But I couldn't, I mean... <laughs> So I don't. I think sadly, I don't want to say that. Like I'm tired. I'm you know saying bad things about people. But baby, I love. it's not a good movie. Yes, it's not. It really. I mean, I'm, I'm trying not could, to just say it was a bad movie. But I think everything about it was really, really done badly. Besides she the giant Oprah, to, Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> yeah, the giant Oprah Winfrey. Why you're too big? And Oprah was kind of like, so what? I'm Oprah. And stayed fucking big until they got to one portion in the planet. I think, and this was a fantasy movie, so this this bothered me too. I didn't know if it wanted to be a fantasy movie, if it wanted to be a kid movie. Oh, it was it talking about be, the universe and how did it want to be a, like a science sci-fi yes, movie? Yes, yes, it was too much that it wanted to be, but never wind up to be anything. And then it 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 tried to rely on. All the pretty colors and all the other different stuff going on. The talking but flying flowers, which was so pretty. That was pretty, but it yeah. was wasn't. And then I didn't mean I didn't no get value. her. I didn't get her switching over to a flying leaf. So and flying so up me, to the thing. So let me give you the reason for that. So on the original book, when they went to the first planet, they didn't have like talking flowers they had centaurs so they had half men half horses and then they had like pegasus horses you know that flew around and they was flying around on different things but they changed it which was weird but then they was just fucking flying around um and i didn't get that until they saw the it you know the it was flying around the dark black it dark so so since alicia doesn't want to tell you about the movie so it, it starts with the kids going to, well, the daughter having a hard time um, losing her father. And so she's in school. She was brilliant and she's kind of rebellion. But he adopted an Asian child and the Asian child was like brilliant. He was like a, 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 a genius, but he was brilliant. So he was the one that, that tapped into these, um, I don't know if you want to call them, Aust- Australia. Austrial or um, celestial um, women, and he knew them, and he reached out to them, and you know, basically saying, "Help me find my father." And you know, the mother was a scientist, father was a scientist, uh, so they threw in the interracial marriage deal with kids, 
and adoption. So they was like, hey, not only we have an interracial family with a child, we're going to have an Asian that's on there. And then the guy with the red eyes, he's happened to be Hispanic. And then there was a black principal that they was jealous of. And I mean, just a lot of stuff that was, what are you doing? Yeah, but it you, was like, what are you, what you, are you doing? You, you want me to explain a story that you couldn't really, it didn't really have an explanation. I mean, going through what you, what you were just saying, mm-hmm. you totally forgot about all of that when you sitting there trying to watch a movie and then know what the hell was going on. And it was jumping from, so back to that planet. So they said, oh, they talked to the flowers and flowers is like, oh, <laughs> and she was like, I don't know what the hell they're saying. Oh, they're talking in colors. Oh, let me explain to you. Oh, let me change. And then so she swirls around, right, with a lot of ribbons. And then you be like, oh, I wonder what that's going to be. Then they block it out and they don't show you how she transforms. They just show you this big face that's a leaf. And then they jump on the back of it and just flies around. And no, then she, the, she's the, spinning, 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 spinning. No, but spinning. I, that, they spin and she stopped. I mean, the camera stopped. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the camera comes back and she's this leaf character. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they didn't even show the transition from that. So the special effects was either things that you already saw before or things that didn't really excite you. You know what I mean? So, and then what's that thing with the kids bouncing the damn ball in front of the house, and parents, the mothers telling them to come inside to eat. So when they went to the, what was the other place? The other place, which is the dark place, um, that hit their father was actually, um, actually being held on. It was the Kamatos, the the Kamasots or something like that. So that's the evil dark place where the the it was. And we find out that the it um, comes to earth and make people mean and jealous. And it wants evil is evil. And we don't know why. Um, We don't know what's been going on. But what we find out is there's warriors on earth that knew about the it and the evil that it brings to people. And it was Einstein. It was Gandhi. And it was these, these religious, intelligent people that realized that this thing existed and that's what the book kind of went over ahead of time so you knew when they would say we need warriors it sounded like in the movie they needed new warriors or someone just coming out they said it almost at the end if i remember right we need warriors you know what i mean and i'm kind of like okay oh there was plenty warriors before you there was gandhi and 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 what's his name from south africa and um all, all they said that the level of detail that you needed to explain about what was going on and what transition she didn't put it in there and then they made the little girl you didn't i didn't feel her acting you didn't care she didn't give you anything so you know when you, hear, when you see phony. children right when you see children movie you you kind of care for the child yeah you didn't really care yeah she seemed phony and this i, I could tell you honestly this movie should have been on the Walt Disney Channel. Yep. This should yep. not have been the big screen. Um, the, the money they, they they paid for, invested in it, it was way, way too much money. So. It, I think it mostly, and, and, and then mostly money went into special effects and costume. And the actual, the main characters, the, um, the Oprah and, right. what's the name, Reese. Um, right. But, even then, the other characters, and you know, the guy who played the father, I don't even like him as an actor. I think he's an average actor, but they, he was in Wonder Woman, remember? And Star, on Star Trek. Oh, yeah, that's a Star Trek boy. Yes, yeah, Star yeah, Trek. Well, boy. you know what? I like him on Star Trek. Yeah. I don't like him on anything else. Yeah. Kirk. Everything else after that, I was kind of like, yo, dude. Yes. You ain't shit. But so I don't think this is something that Ava should be doing. I think she wanted to do it because she wanted to make it an an inclusive movie. She wanted to take an all-white book and make it an inclusive movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, she could have done that and still stick to the book. I think she should have put more of the book with the smaller details than anything. But I'm going to go back. I think you said, what was the deal about the repetitious houses? So the, the comatose or it 
had the single mind, and it didn't tell you that in um, the movie. But the book says the single mind in comatose, everybody depended on the single mind of the it. And what it did was that's why you saw the repetition, because everything went with what it wanted it to be. So all homes was this. All things was that. And it was whatever you saw, everybody conformed to the one single thing. But that didn't explain it. And after that, what happened? The fucking houses went away and then it went to a beach. Yeah. And then the guy with the red eyes show up and he hypnotizes the, the little boy. So why did, why did the boy get hypnotized? A good question. So the book says the boy knew that this was somebody that could took him to his father. So he allowed himself to be taken over so they can take him to his father. Okay. That made sense. Did it? But it no, it made sense to me if they would have done that. She didn't do that. Uh-huh. All of a sudden, he was just a mean little bastard. Yeah, you know what I mean? sure was. And then from there, it was kind of like, okay, now she faces the it. Out of nowhere, after she finds her father, and then she has to face it. And then that was ignorant as hell. Um, I just, there was not enough answers. Um, the, the, the special effects were weak. Or redundant mm-hmm. because you've seen it so many times before. And other, other movies, yes. The children aspect of the movie is really light, but it was a lot more adult type. Um, this movie, stuff too. I could say I, the critics were somewhat right. This is not an adult movie. But it's not a a, a, ch- it, a kid kid movie. No, either. no. If um, baby, the way they were acting. This should have been on the Walt Disney Channel. Seriously. No, the Disney Channel, yeah. yeah. I mean, have you seen the kids that act on the, that channel? That's the way they were acting in this movie. <laughs> but the adults were. The, the same way. Yeah. The only one that had some emotion about him was the, the woman that played the mother of the kids. Okay, yeah. She's the only one that, to me, showed some emotion of, this bothers me. This is bothering me that my husband is gone, and this is bothering me because it's affecting my children. Right. That's the only one that seemed believable. Right. Everybody okay. else, you know, the 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 girl Meg and the the little white boy that was with her, they keep glaring each other out. Just, just like you said, go ahead and kiss her, and they like looking at each other's eyes. So, ooh, 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 ooh. and then they just walk away. I'm like, wait a minute, what are you? What do you want to yeah, do? Yeah, cuz Ava could Ava have done better. But I think she I think her focus was make this an inclusive movie. I don't think she respected the movie. I think what she should have done was go with what the book really was going with and going to the level of detail and not trying to do so many close-ups and emotional looks of the characters. I think the level of detail and the fast pace about the story of the father would have actually been a lot more interesting. I think it would have been a lot more interesting in that way. But I think we were talking about it, and, and you give me your take on it. But it's funny that you had good actors on there, and you had a couple of new actors on there, and... I really feel strongly that Ava is a good director, but I don't think she did a good directing job when it comes to this movie. So do you think it was the actors or do you really think she didn't direct the movie per se? Well, it was hard to not directing the movie correctly because you know as well as I do, there was some excellent actors already in there. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, like I, I, you know, I mentioned to you is that... Um, Nobody said anything bad about the uh, the directing or oh, the they actor. Were. They right. just said the movie wasn't as good as it should have been. Right. You know, and I think that is very important to say that because a lot of people love Ava. But you, to me, sometimes you got to be truthful because Ava should know this is something she shouldn't try. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of things she tried, um, she did very well on it. She wanted to do a documentary, and she and it was amazing. Yeah, she blew she out the park. She did um, Selma. She did amazing when mm-hmm. she did the um, the TV series. Um, 
Queen Sugar. Yeah, Queen Sugar. That was fantastic. Yeah, but there was other things she did before that that you could see that the acting kind of like felt the same as in this one. But that's because she was just starting out. What do you mean the the same as in this one? I mean, it was just, you know, um, wasn't good. You know, they were just not acting. You know what I'm saying? She had some other ones she did that I have watched way before um, she... um, she got into when she started to get a little bit more known. She didn't. She didn't do. I don't think she. She did. She did a lot of actual. Um, I think she was. I don't know. if She was cinematographer, or she just did smaller things after that. She did shorts. Um, she did a lot of TV series. Um, I don't. She didn't do anything pretty major if you go back into like what 2009 she has some shorts Compton and C minor my mic sounds nice the truth about that's 2010 I will follow 20, 2010 as its presence TV one night only there's a TV movie middle of nowhere that was 2012 um scandal series I didn't know she did that either oh she did one episode um she didn't do anything major. She yeah, like um, I seen the one that she did. I will follow. That was done in two thousand and ten. Yeah, but that's that was way long time ago. Right, and so like I said, that was and when I seen that, it it kind of it kind of reminded me of what it even though it was a good movie that she did, it still gave me, um reminded me of um of this movie, you know. A little, it, the acting wasn't as good. Okay, I got you. So, back then, she was a publicity consultant. Okay. She wasn't a, really a director back then. All right. So, if you do a movie now, and you do a good movie, and then you do another movie, and you show that you are a good director, when you go backwards, I don't know why you would do that. Why would you go backwards? And if she went backwards because it was, let me make these stars look great and I'm going to focus a little more on the special effects and everything else and I'm going to try to work with the children and let the actors be actors. I don't know what she did, but overall she did not do a good job with this. She did not do it. And if you say it went back to like she was directing like an amateur okay I, I get that then I can say yeah it, it this was pretty amateurish but here's my problem with that I gave you over a hundred million dollars to have a blockbuster movie and people went on the first weekend because the anticipation Oprah was in it and Ava is doing it and Reese Witherspoon is in it and you have Mindy a lot of people like her too so and then there's this book that's you know it's beloved and won awards and was a woman writer and you know woman power all day long so and then it's supposed to be a kids movie so you would bring your kids to see this as well it just didn't feel like a kids movie it didn't feel like so you're telling me movie. that it doesn't it didn't feel like any of that so you didn't you, you don't i mean it just she we we know she could have done a hell of a lot yeah. better. Yeah, so she we've did seen this her. Amateurs. We have seen some of the stuff she's done that was amazing. That's my point. So again, you know, you know what can you say? You try <laughs> you try so hard to 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 how would you say um, support her? You still can support her. Yeah, but this doesn't mean stop watching her. No, no, no. I'm just saying in this one, you want to. I mean, everybody had a, you. We read a lot of people. I've read some of the um, reviews that people had such high expectation. And yeah. I believe that for a fact that's, that when um, Black Panther came out, there was a lot of people saying, well, we want to, you know, um, support Wrinkle of Time by paying for girls to go see it, movie tickets. Because and, they thought it was going to be another great movie and then you didn't hear nothing because the critics started seeing it yeah and then the buzz went down you know 
because after the Black Panther, it's like here's another great black movie coming right behind it. Fantastic, we're ready. Now what are they saying about it? And then when you hear what they started saying about it, then it was like, hmm. so let me get an example, you know, and this is a black woman that's that's good. She's a really good director. She had a bad fall. Some directors that come out, they don't fall right away. Um, I love Christopher Nolan. I think I love every single one of his movies that he, that he made. Every single one of them. So I can't say anything about that. But there's other directors that didn't do as good. You know, they came out with a couple of movies and then something dropped. I can uh, tell you Martin, right now. Martin Scorsese. M. Night. It, well, he's done. He was done after movie yeah, two. But then no, no, no. But he kept doing bad movies. Yep, and they kept giving him money. But he's a man. That's the difference. Okay. You know, they do that with men. They don't do that with women. Mm -hmm. But I think she has a reputation that she can come back on. So Martin Scorsese is one of those people that they give money to. He had hits and then a whole bunch of shits. And then he came back and had another hit. So they kept giving him the money. But I think going back to what you were saying, babe, there was so much hype of this coming because there was slight hype at Black Panther other than the nerds. Mm -hmm. and then when the pre-stuff was coming out, then critics was like, oh my God, this is going to change the way Marvel is going to start doing movies. Right. So even with all that hype, they laid that hype on her too, yeah. on her movie to say, well, it's Ava. It has to be good. Right. It has to. I thought it was going to be good. I saw the previews and I wasn't really excited by it. I didn't. And you know me, I'm a trailer guy. I'm going to watch these trailers. Right. Not knowing the trailers told me that I really needed to see it. Nothing other than Ava directing it. Right. I'm not a great Oprah fan, but she shows up on movies and do well. She was in Selma, but guess what? It was the other characters that did well. The she, butler. The butler. Pfft, yeah. So she did well on that, mm -hmm. but the movie was sucked. You know That's what I mean? true, but she, but she did well. On yeah, that. she was a. You know, what was the one? Um, the one with uh, that she had the, the jeans and everything that HBO movie that she did. Oh, um, well, the uh, um, Henrietta Lacks. Yeah, yeah. So that was great. Yeah, and she, that was Oprah leading it though. Yeah, she led that movie and she did really well. Yes, right. And she also, I think she executive produced that. Don't but you? think about that. She did well on it on that scale of a movie, but this bigger scale, she was awful mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. she just was directed really, really badly. Um, so, so what's your score? We're gonna we gonna four. Yeah, this is a four. Yeah, you. I was because I was, I was highly disappointed. Yeah, I fell asleep and I started daydreaming while I was watching it, which wind up making me sleep because I was daydreaming and woke up saying, oh shit, I was thinking about something else while watching this movie. <laughs> and see, I, 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 got, I was a little nice. I said a five. <laughs> no, it's a four. Well, the, I mean, the only thing is because, you know, of Oprah and um, Reese Witherspoon. They did terrible and, in it, though. I know, and then Ava. And that's the only reason I, I why... I respect I, Ava, but... I mean, that's why I didn't want to give it no lower than a five. I think she deserves a four, though. Okay. I don't care how good she is. She had a bad showing. Okay. So if an athlete comes up and go to basketball, LeBron James scores 12 points. They said he stunk. He should, he should be ashamed of himself. But they know the next game he'll be better. It's just that. But you got you to gotta acknowledge that what she did was not good. Right. Then move on. Don't hold it against her. Because you know she can do better. Right, right. And I don't hold it against her. But I think Chris Rock said the, the, the times that black people have achieved a lot is when we put out something that really, really sucks and then they still give you the money. That means we are gaining equity. Mm -hmm. Because white directors, white athletes can be really bad and they keep rehiring them. It doesn't really matter. Right. right. When black people do it, they get rid of them and you don't see them anymore. Right. But I think Ava has the reputation that they know she can do better. I think so. I mean, you know, you you right. There's other directors that done worse than her. Yep, and kept getting the money. Yep, and sure. What did damn you just damn. say? What was his name? M. Night Shyamalan. Oh Lord. So that to me is just terrible. You yeah. know what I mean? 
But again, what can you say? Yeah, M. Night was like the worst of directors. And he came out with one. The last one he just did was. That was um Split. Yeah, that Which shit was good. Was, it was, was very good. good. Yeah. yeah. So, so, and then he's coming out with that one with Bruce, Bruce Willis and um, I think McAvoy and what's his name? The, the black dude. But anyway, he's coming out with that again because that made money and the critics enjoyed it. So now he's get the opportunity to do something with that. But anywho, you got it at a what? A five? Yes. So that means you'll watch it again then, huh? No. <laughs> okay. Because I won't. No, I, have I won't. No either. reason to. I'm going to watch the old, the 2003 one. To I know. We need to find it and yeah, see. To what, see if the, comparison. If the, the level of detail yeah. was in that. And then I can say, Jesus Christ, that's what you should have done, Ava. You just, I don't but know. But that's why what you a lot of critics were saying. They said she didn't even go follow by the book. Really? Yeah, she didn't go by the book. So she wanted to make it her, her own. Right. I got that. Make it your own. But, but make but it better. Make it quality, though. Yeah, Come on, make it God better. It. Make it quality. Make it better. So, anyway, Urban Lifestyle Cafe and our movie review. We still got a couple of little ones from Leftover. We want to see, what, that Red Sparrow? Yes. Uh, with Jennifer Lawrence. We're not going to see Bruce Willis killing people with Death Wish. I do not want to see that. Tomb Raider's coming up, so be prepared for that. Because uh, we got... Movie Pass. Yeah, we got Movie Pass. Thanks to Movie Pass. Thanks to Movie Pass. We so can go as we many times <laughs> we want to the movies. Once a day, though. Once yes. a day. Yes. So definitely. the promotion of Movie Pass. No, no, we're not promoting because that's not allowed. <laughs> they ain't paying us. <laughs> Urban Lifestyle Cafe, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next Wednesday with a new review. Thank you. Bye.